Japan is our next travel adventure. I'm currently in Hawaii right now. It's raining, uh, but it's beautiful here. Just listening to the nature and the sound of the birds and stuff. Japan, for those who wants to hike, I scheduled the hike on the second week. The first week was just going around Japan, the main uh, areas there. Uh, Tokyo to Hakone, the Mount Fuji region, and then to Kyoto, the monastery, and then the hike the second week. And so I admit Japan is one of my favorite uh, countries to visit. I appreciated their sense of respect, cleanliness, nature, efficiency, and deep cultural um, heritage. It was an expensive trip, but plan accordingly. Uh, this is a country you should not miss and put it on your bucket list. So the travel was within two to two and a half weeks. Um, so enjoy. So I want to talk about public transportation in Japan. Public transportation is very efficient in Japan. Again, uh, plan accordingly. And if you want to buy a uh, public pass online, visit the uh, www.jrpass.com and this will help you. So I highly recommend paying everything in cash, not credit card, okay? So you can also uh, purchase them ahead of time online. And there are three different ways to ride the JR trains. The first is to buy a ticket every time you ride the train. Uh, of course in cash uh, second is to put the money onto your ic card that it's called um, suica or the pasmo and the last way is to use a free pass uh, such as it's called the japan rail pass so from tokyo went to the hakone region and then went to kyoto and then from kyoto we just rented a car there and then took the car to Koyasan, which is the sacred place in Japan. After Koyasan, we went to Kyoto, dropped off the car, and then from Kyoto, uh, we started our journey to Nakahechi uh, route to Komada Kodo, which is going to be in a separate blog for that hike. Then after a week of hiking in Komarokodo, headed to Osaka, and that trip ended in Osaka. As you can see, there's a lot more places to see in Japan, but if you have limited time, two weeks is not enough. So this is the entire Japan, as you can see. Definitely a place to go back to. This is Shibuya Crossing. It is located in front of the Shibuya Station. Hachiko exit and stops vehicles in all directions to allow pedestrians to uh, for the entire intersection. Hachiko uh, was remembered for his loyalty to his deceased owner, and it was a movie made that was starring Richard Gere. was a trip to the Picasso Museum uh, by, of course, we took the bullet train to the Hakone region. It is located in Hakone, Ashigarashimo District, Kanagawa Prefecture. The museum has a thousand pieces that includes the artwork by Pablo Picasso, Henry Moore, Churio Sato, Susumu Singo, and a lot more great art artists. 
We stayed at a ryokan in Hakone with an onsen. Onsen means hot springs. Ryokan means it's a type of traditional Japanese inn that has tatami matted rooms, communal baths, and communal baths in other public areas, where visitors may wear namaki and talk with the owner. Ryokan have existed since the 8th century AD during the Kayon period or Keion period, which is when the oldest hotel in the world, Nishiyama Onsen. Keiyun Khan was created in 705 AD, and another old Ryokan called Hoshi Ryokan was founded in 718 AD and was also known as the world's second oldest hotel. The Black Egg of Owakudani. Owakudani is an active volcanic valley in the Hakone region west of Tokyo. It's known for, you know, it's known to the locals as Jigokudani, means the Valley of Hell, and is famous for its black eggs, which are boiled in the sulfurous waters to give the eggshells a distinctive color. We stayed at a Koyasan, which was a monastery. Uh, Koyasan is located in the Wakayama Prefecture. Located in a remote wooded area of Wakayama Prefecture, south of Kyoto and Osaka, Koyasan is home to more than a hundred temples and monasteries. It's the most sacred place in Japan. Kongo Buji is the ecclesiastic head temple of Koyasan Shingon Buddhism. It means Temple of the Diamond Mountain Peak. The Kongo Buji is the Reverend Kogi Kasai, who also acts as the Archbishop Bishop of the Koyasan Shingon School. At the temple, visitors can listen to the sermons of the monks and participate in Ajikan meditation sessions. I also want to mention that the Koyasan area is the center of Shingon Buddhism. It's supposed to be, which is like one of the few surviving uh, Buddhism in East Asia. The second week was in Komarokoro through the Nakahechi route, which is a separate vlog that I wanted to share because it's a very spiritual journey for me. The last two days were in Osaka just enjoying their food, takoyaki, sushi, okonomiyaki, and many more.
anyway so hope you enjoyed this trip uh next adventure is the hike on Komanokoro, Japan. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.